so in this video we will try to simplify the inert pair effect so first of all what inert pair effect means inert means inactive and pair is the pair of electrons mainly in the s orbital so electrons means two electrons of s orbital becomes inert this inert pair effect is a specific feature of heavy p block metals do remember these two keywords heavy p block metals and s electrons are inert so why it happens so let's say in a group as we move up to down the atomic size increases let's say in 14 group carbon silicon germanium tin lead as we are moving up to down atomic size increases as we move up to down atomic size increases so as the atomic size increases bond formed by these atoms leads to longer bond length so on moving up to down atomic size increases bond length increases so when bond length increases the released amount of energy is lesser because bond energy and bond length are inverse to each other so if energy is lesser that energy is not sufficient to unpair the electrons of s orbital so if these electrons are not unpaired they will not participate in bonding this is known as inert pair effect that's why this effect exists in the large sized large sized p block metals like indium thallium tin lead antimony bismuth all these so inert pair effect due to the inert pair effect their lower oxidation state is more stable than higher oxidation state so in higher oxidation state these heavy p block metals accepts electron and act as oxidizing agent they reduce their self and oxidize the other element metal or whatever it is because their lower oxidation state is more stable due to inert pair effect thank you